You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless It started when you said hello Just did something to me And I've been in a daze Ever since the day that we met You took the breath out of my lungs, can't even fight it And all of the words out of my mouth without even trying And I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time, I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless Yeah, baby mm -hmm. It's always on a night God, you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless You're standing there in that dress Girl, it ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do Oh, oh, oh I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time, I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless Oh, you know it, baby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Running out of ways to make you see I want you to stay here beside me I won't be okay and I won't pretend I am Tell me today and take my hand Please take my hand Please take my hand
There is a moment in our lives when life becomes more meaningful because it is shared. Today, we have come to celebrate the beginning of a new life together for Michael and Angela. In this joyful feast of love, we will, both, we will be both witnesses as well as brothers and sisters in Christ, offering them to the care and guidance of our Lord. As one church, we pray that Christ may bestow on them his grace on this memorable day. When they start their new life together, as husband and wife. Please remain seated for the procession.
Our presider for this ceremony is Father Alan S. de Guzman Bupi. We will now begin our wedding mass. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, families and guests, welcome to Calarvega, Philippines. And to you, our beloved Michael and Angela, welcome back to Calarueta. This is the day you've been waiting for, you've been saving up for, and you've been praying for. Finally, you're here. To everyone inside this church, we're going to offer our prayers for Michael and Angela in this Holy Mass. We're also going to offer Angela and Michael themselves into the hands of the Lord. We begin this offering by bowing our heads and placing ourselves in His presence. Michael Joseph and Angela, your love is a blessing, and so we give the glory to the Lord. As all together we proclaim glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that these your servants, now to be joined by the sacrament of matrimony, may grow in the faith they profess and enrich your church with faithful offspring. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verses 1 to 4, 13 to 16. Like the sun rising is the beauty of a good wife in a well-kept house. Happy the husband of a really good wife, the number of his days will be doubled. A perfect wife is the joy of her husband. He will live out the years of his life in peace. A good wife is the best of, proportion, of portions, reserved for those who fear the Lord. Rich or poor, they will be glad of heart, cheerful of face, whatever the season. The grace of a wife will charm her husband. Her accomplishments will make him stronger. A silent wife is a gift from the Lord. No price can be put on a well-trained character. A modest wife is a boon twice over. A chaste character cannot be made. Weight on scales. Like the sun rising over the mountains of the Lord is the beauty of a good wife in a well-kept house. The word of the Lord. Let our response be, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Praise the name of the Lord. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts, wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing. Praise the name of the Lord. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, Old men together with children. Praise the name of the Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A lawyer to his concert Jesus put a question, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it, you must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, friends, families, and guests of the bride and groom, and our beloved Michael and Angela, 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the Holy. At this moment, please allow Michael and Angela to feel how much you love them by giving them a warm and deep applause. Mike and Angela, I hope you have felt the love in this church right now. But besides love, we're also going to offer prayers. So this is what we're going to do. If you're going to pray for Angela and Michael, raise your thumbs. Thumbs up if you're going to pray for Michael and Angela. Go. Now take a good look. Michael and Angela, look at your back. If you see anyone not raising a thumb, it means pagkain lang ang habol. Kita nyo na ang mga pagkain ng habol, mga photographer, videographer, oh, hindi nagtaas, oh. Ayan, siya. Yung dalawa, hindi. Ayan. So, gutom na gutom. Hindi pa kumakain kasi mga yan. Nag-skip ng lunch. So, everyone, this is why we're here. We're here to offer love and prayers. Am I right? Or you have any other goals for today? <laughs> Tama po ba? We're here to offer love and prayers for Michael and Angela. Thank you so much. It's clear for everyone. That's why I have to ask now, Michael and Angela, how about you? What are you going to do right now? And don't tell me it's just about wedding vows. Mamaya pa yon. Do you know what you're supposed to do starting today? Let me show you. Starting today, you're going to give each other two things. Dalawang bagay, gagawin niyo. Araw-araw, simula ngayon, habang buhay. What are those two things? Number one, starting today, bigyan niyo ang bawat isa, araw-araw, ng regalo. At ang pangalan ng regalo, good memories. Everyone say, good memories. Michael, bakit magandang alaala? Sa'yo naman, Angela, bakit araw-araw? The reason? Tatanda at lilipas din kayo. And when you grow older, many things will say goodbye in your life. The first that will say goodbye are your good looks. Michael, hindi ka gwapo forever. And Angela, sorry, hindi ka rin pretty forever. If you don't believe me, parang kailan lang, may kinasal. Mas guapo pa sa iyo, Michael. Maniwala ka, mas guapo pa sila sa iyo. Parang kailan lang, may kinasal, mas maganda pa sa iyo, Angela. Tingnan niyo na ngayon ang itsura nila. Tingnan niyo ang inyong mga ninong at ninang. Sige, wag kayong matakot. Come on, you invited them. Take a good look at them. You should have seen when they got married. They were so pretty and handsome. But just like your priest, si Father, we all grow old. We can't stop father time. The way we look have changed through the years. Kahit na si Cherry Hill. Tingnan ninyo. Everyone knows Cherry Hill, right? Cherry Hill looks like she never grows old. But take a look at Google search. O, minig sa search na ngayon. And, no, she doesn't look the same. So, both of you, if your plan is to wake up each morning beside someone pretty and beautiful, you'll just get frustrated. As early as now, be ready to let go. Hindi yan kasama sa pagtanda. Paalam, itsura ko. What else will say goodbye? Your strength. Hindi po kayo malakas habang buhay. Kaya nga, I would like to congratulate both of you because as you are young and strong right now, what are you doing? What you're doing is sipag at tiyaga. Hindi po kayo pahiga-higa lamang. Walang nagiging piloto na tatamad-tamad. Walang makakasimula ng business na pahila-hilata at ML ng ML lang. To both of you, you know what to do. You know what it takes to succeed in your careers. Sipag at tsaga. Congratulations. However, may nakita ko sa inyong wedding contract. May problema. Hindi yung manapansin, nakita ko ang problema. Ang nakita ko dito, halos pareho na kayo, 30 years old. Yeah, ilang buwan na lang, 30 ka na rin. 
And when you're 30 and above, hindi na sapat ang sipag at syaga. Salamat, sinibulan nyo na. Ipagpatuloy nyo ang, ang idadagdag sa sipag at syaga. And these are savings and investments. As you approach your 30s, yan ang i-career ninyo. Ang inyong income ay hindi lang pambili at pambayad. Iipunin. mag invest And why do you save and invest? Because savings and investments help you create time. Time for each other. Time for your family and friends. Time for your kids. Time to serve the Lord. Hindi naman masama ang magkaroon ng career. But napansin nyo, maraming mga mag-asawa, career na ang bagong asawa. That's not your path. Your path is no matter how good you are in what you do, in your jobs, your number one priority is still time for family. Time is your ultimate goal. Money is just a stepping stone to create time. And that's why in Tagalog, the term we use is hanap buhay. It's life we're looking for, not hanap pera. And to prove that to you, let me show you the number one problem of couples. And this is, was never your problem at all. But your friends might think it's number one. Baka akala ng kaibigan niyo, ang problema ng mag-asawa is unfaithfulness. No, that's not many husbands and wives are actually faithful. Ikaw ba? Ikakasal ngayon, may plano ka nang hiwalayin siya? Wala. Ikaw ba? May plano kang iwan siya? Wala. Walang kinakasal na ganyan ang plano. Kaya maraming mga mag-asawa, okay naman. So what's the number one problem if it's not unfaithfulness? The number one problem is couples grow apart. It's the opposite of growing together. Kaya huwag yung kalimutan na kayong dalawa hindi talaga pera ang number one. Kung hindi naman kayo magkakaroon ng oras para sa isa't isa. Huwag yung kalimutan, ilang tulog na lang yan, bibili na rin kayo ng Omega Painkiller and Katinko. Hindi na kayo kasing lakas katulad ngayon. Bilisan nyo ang pag-iipon. By the time you're 40, you can say, I can take not only a day off, I can take a month off. Where do you want to go? Ganyan ang plano. Dahil balang araw, paalam kalakasan. What else we say goodbye? Your good health. And proof of that, masarap ang pagkain mamaya. Am I right? We've got good food mamaya. Right, we've got good food. The problem is, the good food you prepared for some of us here is no longer good for us. Our doctors have spoken and we are not in danger of COVID. We are in danger of something else like diabetes, heart attack, and sort of those chronic diseases. Even me, maniwala kayo, ngayon matanda, ang dami kong regrets. Pero kakaibang regrets, hindi yung regret ng ginawa ko na matagal na. Kalimitan, kalimitan ang regret ko yung pagkatapos kumain. Yung sa sobrang sarap na, teka, ba't ako kumain ng marami? <laughs> I should have not eaten this. Kasi so, you know, I, I know I did something wrong, dahil sumasama yung lasa ko. And I'm telling you, iba talaga ang katawan ng bata sa katawan ng matanda. When you don't feel well when you're young, pagpagod ka na sa pagpipiloto ng maraming eroplano, tulog lang katapat. Pagkain lang ang katapat. Netflix lang ang katapat. Kaming may edad na, hindi na namin kayang manood ng Netflix kapag masama ang pakiramdam. Tutulugan namin yan. At ang masama ba dito? Pagkatapos matulog, masama pa rin ang pakiramdam. At kahit amin kainin ang aming comfort food, it doesn't make us feel well anymore. That's why when you grow older, that is something you have to be ready for. Are you ready to grow old? 
Tingnan nyo, pag kayo'y nagkasakit, iba na ang pagmamahal. When you're young, how do you show love for each other? Buy her a brand new car! Buy her a brand new plane. O diba, pag mayaman ka na? How about you? What do you do for him? Buy him whatever he wants. The gadgets, the laptops, the latest shoes. It's easy when you're young. Now, if you want to see how older people love each other, you, it's not money. Here is how older people love each other. Some people love each other by doing this, Michael. Kukuha ka ng kutsara, lalagyan mo ng, nilagyan mo ng sapaw na kanin at ulam. Na yung ulam ay napagpirapiraso mo na at isusubo mo sa yung asawa na hindi na makabangon. Same with you. When you grow older, Angela, you will notice that one of the most loving moments you can do is if your husband is in a wheelchair, you're going to get this bimbo, put some warm water, at pupunasan mo siya sapagkat hindi na siya makaligo mag-isa. See? So now, you have to do one more thing. Not just a wedding vow, one more vow. Healthy lifestyle. Can you do that? Promise each other to have a healthy lifestyle because your plan is not to have that moment na nagsusubo at nagpupunas too early. Sana iurong nyo ng matagal pa. Your game plan, isasayaw ninyo ang inyong mga anak sa kanilang kasal. You will be there. Alam nyo, napakahirap kapag sa kasal, merong hindi makadalo sapagkat nagpaalam na ng maaga. To both of you, please don't be absent on the weddings of all your children. At hindi lang anak, pati dibo ng apo, kasama kayo doon sa candle o sa flower, isasayo niyo yung apo, lahat ng apo kung pwede. Kahit na pagkanyang-ganyan na lang kasi kailangan na ng tungkod. That's your game plan. And you can only do that if you took care of your health. If you're healthy until 30, it's because you're young. If you're healthy when you're 50, it's because you made a lot of sacrifices. Please, now you know, this is what it means to grow old. Everyone, quick review. Growing old means losing our good looks, losing our strength, and losing our health. So now I go to the question, what will remain when we grow old? What's the answer, Michael and Angela? Okay, I'm going to give a hint. The answer was already said by everyone a while ago. One more time, question. What will remain when we grow old? Everyone say, good memories. Louder, please. Good memories. That's right. That's why you have to give each other one good memory each day. Look at us older people. What do we do when we gather together? Do we discuss 10-year plans? Do we discuss 20-year plans? No, we discuss stories of what happened before. Pinag-uusapan namin nung kami nasa high school, nasa college, saan kami kumain last month. Why? Because this is our story. This is what our life was all about. Kaya nga napansin niyo, Kapag ang inyong mga tiyahin, tiyuhin, nagkasama-sama, walang hanggan hanggang makatulog lahat. Walang ayawan ng kwentuhan. Hindi na kailangan ng bote, ng mga alak. Kailangan lang one big couch samasama sa salas ang saya ng kwentuhan. Kaya to both of you, this is what you have to do. Sabi ko kanina, the problem of couples is growing apart. So now, do the opposite. Create many good memories together. That is how you grow together. What is making good memories? Akala niyo ba eh, simply pagbigay ng regalo, bibili sa mall? Hindi. Good memories is when you write your story together. 
hindi naman lahat na mangyayari maganda. May masakit din. May mga panahon na iiyak kayo. Maiinis kayo. Magagalit kayo. But it's okay. What do you call a painful memory that you learn from and hence it becomes a good memory? Ulitin ko. What do you call a painful memory that because we learn from it, it becomes a good memory? Tagalog word, letter P. My P nag samahan. That's why you're here. Because may pinagsamahan kayo. To everyone who doesn't know, this love story was not supposed to happen. A few months after getting to know, Angela already had a plan that this man was simply going to be a food trip buddy. No more, no less. Not a boyfriend, not a lover. Kasama lang kumain. The game plan of Angela was to make this man, to place this man in her friend zone. So you see, there's not supposed to be a wedding today. So what's their story? What is their pinagsaman? What is their story they wrote together? Well, it so happened that Angela needed money, 12,000 pesos plus. And because she needed money, this man said, no problem, I'll lend you. And this man allowed Angela to use his card only to find out it wasn't Angela. <laughs> it was a hacked Facebook account. And Angela went to the police wanting to shake the whole system to find the criminal and punish the criminal. But this man said a beautiful word, beautiful phrase that even Gandhi and probably Mother Teresa would like to quote. Basahin ko ang sinabi po nitong lalaking ito. Angela, bayaran mo lahat. Eh, sorry, sorry, no, no, no. Ang sinabi ni Michael ay, Angela, what we lost are only material things. What is important is you are safe. And that changed the whole story. That opened the friend zone into pwede. <laughs> that opened the food body trip into ah, oh, he cares for me that way. And that is why we have a wedding today. Anyone here who has that story? That's not yours, right? It's theirs. That's what good memories can do to you. That's how people stay together. If that didn't happen, if you didn't write that story together, there's no wedding today. Both of you were not going to have this wedding because you will have different paths. Kaya wag makalimot, please continue writing stories together. Now let me just show you what it means to grow apart para malaman nyo ano ba yung growing apart na yan. Simple lang, I did not make this story up. One senior mother, nanay, asked for my prayer. Father, please pray for me and my husband. Kasi Father, after we got married, my husband started working abroad, OFW, and there's not a day in my life I wish and prayed matapos na ang kontrata niya so he can stay here sa Pilipinas beside me. Father, finally my prayers were answered. nag na siya. Nandito yun siya sa Pilipinas. Pero Father, yun ang problema. Kaya kailangan namin ng prayer. Nandito na nga siya sa bahay, pero araw-araw, umaalis siya ng bahay para puntahan ang mga barkada niya sa abroad. Hindi na kami sanay, Father, magkasama. Mas sanay na siya, ang kasama ay ang nakasama sa abroad. Father, please pray for us. That is what growing apart means. It simply means... When you start writing a story in your life that doesn't include anymore your loved one, that's when things fall apart. You don't, need an, you don't even need a third party or a woman or a man. Simply a barkada. Yun lang nakabarkada mo eh. 
yun ang nakabanding mo for 30 years. So normally, you would want to meet them every day. So to both of you, who are your companion in this life journey? It's not your kasama sa airline o kasama sa, in, sa air industry. It's not even your friends in the engineering industry. Your best kasama is that person beside you right now. Huwag niyong iiwan sa kwento. Kahit malayo. Sample. Kunwari, napadpad ka sa Toronto, Canada. Hindi mo siya nakasama kasi doon pumunta yung flight. Pagbaba mo, nakapunta ka sa Niagara Falls. Bago kong nalaman yan, only if you're yung pala Niagara kasi dati parang Nagaraya Falls yan eh. Niagara. So pag nandun ka na, huwag ka lang kuha ng kuha ng picture. Mag-vlog ka. Kunan mo sarili mo at sabihin mo, Honey, Mike, ang ganda-ganda dito, di ba? Kita mo yung falls na yan? Kaya lang mas maganda kung nandito ka. Yun. Because this falls reminds me of how I fell for you. Oh, mga ganun mga bakit mga ganyang klaseng vlog. If you do something like that, then you will notice you'll never grow apart. Kahit malayo, you're still writing the story together. Ulitin ko, your assignment, one good memory, araw-araw, habang buhay. One more time, one good memory a day keeps the lawyers away. Siguradong meron kayong forever. Everyone say good memories. And finally, the last one, everyone say prayer life. Louder, say prayer life. Araw-araw kayong magdarasal. Hindi kung may oras lang. Hindi kung bakante lang ang inyong schedule. You really have to find time to pray together. Not even individually. Kahit online. And why? Because the family that prays together, still the family is staying together. So right now I'm going to teach you the prayer that's going to keep you together. Holding hands please. Tingin sa mga mata. And konting emote. Habang nakatingin, mauna ka muna, Michael. Call her name. Dapat binig ng camera. Mahal ang bayad sa cameraman. Huwag kalimutan. Angela! At hindi pa tapos instruction. <laughs> Dapat masaya ka at in love ka. Masaya ba yun? At in love. Okay? Sige. Take two. Call her. Dali lang po at tuturo ako lang sandali. <clears throat> Michael, Angela, ang inilang at masaya, kahit malakas, ang boses naglalambing. Sampo lang kita. Angela. Ayun, ginawa mo naman eh. Angela! Para kang nakakita ng matagal na hindi nagbabayad ng utang. Huwag naman ganun. Okay? Alam ko, 12,000 yun. Kalimutan mo na. Okay? So please, look at her. Lambigin mo ang boses. Call her. Ah, better, better. Now, basahin mo ito, sabihin mo ito sa kanya. Yeah, ikaw. Okay, now be sincere. Mean what you say. Good boy. Buti naman alam mo. Okay, now Angela, do a better job ha. Malakas, pero in love, masaya, naglalambing. Call him. Ayan, talaga naman para tayo nasa airline. This is your captain speaking. Ayan, okay, so one more time. Tawagin mo si Michael. Ngayon, basahin mo to, sabihin mo to sa kanya. Ay, sorry, sorry. Kung ano nangyari? Bakit parang napalitan? Parang may virus ko ah. Para, para, para. Iba, iba, iba. Pareho lang. Be sincere. Mean what you say. Good girl. Buti naman alam mo. Father, nasan yung prayer? Actually, this is your prayer. When you said right now you're not the boss, you also mentioned now in front of the Lord that when rough times come, when rough winds come, those are the best moments you will you should never forget to call on your boss, your Lord and your God. And proof of this, I have the second reason you're getting married today. Angela, alam ko, 
na isahan ka ni Michael. When you first saw the photograph of Michael, sabi mo, pwede, guwapo. Nung nagkita na kayo sa personal, ang sabi mo, mukha ka lang palang matangkad. So, why are you getting married today? Here's the second answer. He might not be the tall, handsome man you're looking for. But this man, if you don't know it yet, when you added him in Facebook, he remembered he has been praying for you all this time. You are an answered prayer in his life. So hindi dahil magaling siya manligal o dahil super ganda ng inyong ginawang bonding, ang sabi ni Michael, Father, I ask the Lord, sana if I'm going to meet someone I'm going to live all with, live with all my life, she will be charming, likable, beautiful, simple, strong, independent, and sociable. He had this wish list. And when you came, he said, Lord, Mukhang sinagot mo na ang dasal ko. So to both of you, if the Lord answered your prayer before this wedding, why will you leave the Lord after your wedding? Continue holding on, trusting in the Lord that He will be there not only in good times but even in your worst times. Marami pang darating pagsubok. Ang sabi nga, mitong iyong minamahal, Michael. Itong si Michael, nakakabigla. Whatever I wish, whatever I say, he makes it happen. Pag sinabi kong Jollibee, mamaya darating na. Pag sinabi kong pupunta kami doon, mamaya nakabuk na kami. But to both of you, what you forgot, is this is not a wishing well. The greatest person you could ask to make things happen is right here in front of you. At hindi si Father yun, si Lord. Kung gusto niyo talagang mag-asawa kayo na malikaya habang buhay, ano man ang mangyari, please continue asking the Lord to teach you how. Marami pa ituturo sa inyo si Lord sa iyong pagsasama habang buhay. So this is what you're going to do. Holding hands, please. Tingin sa mga mata. And now, together, repeat after me. Sabihin niyo, pinakamamahal ko. Kapag mali ka at tama ako, hindi ko hangad na ipagmalaki na talagang mali ka at talagang tama ako Instead, instead, pag sobrang mali ka at sobrang tama ako, ang hangad ko, maramdaman mo, magkakampi tayo. Magkasama natin, aayusin ang problema. Magkasama natin, haharapin ang buhay. Magkasama natin, hihilingin si Lord, lagyan ng wind ang ating, ang binis ng wings natin. At higit sa lahat, sana maramdaman mo, ganyan kita kamahal na ang plano ni Lord gagawin natin. Sasamahan kita habang buhay. Can you say I love you to each other? See how sweet you can be? Now tell me, it's easy to say it, right? It's harder to do it. So now, it's time to pray every day. Lord, sana ang sinabi namin, talagang gagawin namin. Mahirap, Pero sa tulong niyo, Panginoon, we will make it.
we will arrive at our, our, at our destination and we're going to tell everyone how you, Lord, are the real pilot of this life journey we have. Co-pilots lang kami. That is what we're going to do starting today. Good memories, prayer life, araw-araw, habang buhay. Can we have a one last repeat para maalala? Everyone say good memories. Everyone say prayer life. At kayo yung, kung kayo simulan yan ngayon, kayo nyo na rin simulan ang inyong right of wedding. Everyone now, bow your heads. Join me in silence, pray for a lovely couple, and accept them as a new couple in our Christian community. Habang tayo nagdarasal, candle sponsors, please light the baptismal candles, the nuptial candles of Michael and Angela. Michael and Angela, please stand. Parents of the bride and groom and proxy and Nino at Nina, please stand. Michael, this is your candle. Sisindihan mo to birthday mo. Angela, this is your candle. Light it every birthday of yours. At sabay niyo sisindihan niyan tuwing wedding anniversary. I now ask you, Angela and Michael, to answer truthfully the following questions. Angela, did you come here for your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Michael, did you come here for your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Angela and Michael, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom the Lord will give you? Yes, Father. Michael and Angela, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please now face each other. Join your right hands. Tikin sa mga mata. Express your love, your wedding vows before the Lord and His Church. I, Michael, take you, Angela, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Angela, thank you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now, together, pray to the Lord. Grant us, O Lord, to be one heart and one soul, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death to us for. How come I can and come I? And I, Father Allen de Guzman, a Dominican priest of Calarvega, Philippines, by the authority of the Church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the bond of marriage which you have contracted in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Parents and sponsors may now be seated. We will now bless the rings in the ring. Uh, we will now bless the rings and array. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, bless these rings so that your servants, Michael and Angela, who wear them, may ever live in mutual love and in unbroken loyalty. Through Christ our Lord. Bless, O Lord, your servants, Angela and Michael, with sufficiency of material possessions, which these are a symbolized, so that they may use them to attain eternal life through Christ our Lord. Mm. Please, tabihan niyo ang dalawa. Michael, pahikuhan ng sing-sing para kay Angela. Left hand. Sa kaliwa mo na. Look at her eyes. Angela. 
wear this ring as a sign of my unconditional love and loyalty for as long as I live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing, sing. Left hand, look at his eyes. Left hand. Michael, wear this ring as a sign of my unconditional love and loyalty for as long as I live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sahod ang kamay, Angela. Michael, paikuhan ng coins. Bago bibigay, look at her eyes. Angela, I give you this Harry as a pledge of my dedication to your, wel to your welfare and that of our children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pakitanggap. And I accept them with the promise that I will... With the promise that I will be your equal partner in working for our welfare and that of the children God will give us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand. Pakisali na lang. Baka mawala, maiwan. Michael and Angela, one more time, face to face. Hawa ka ng kanang kamay. Now raise your left hands and look at your rings. Yan nga ba ang galing ng Lazada and Shopee? Tama ba? Kung yan nga, harap kay Lord. Pakita niyo kay Lord ang mga sing-sing and sabihin niyo, thank you Lord. Now you may face your guests with a smile. Show them your rings. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Joseph and Angela Paul. Husband and wife, you're now married. And we continue to offer our prayers for them. For each prayer we say, Lord, graciously hear us. All together. Lord, graciously hear us. For leaders of the church and state, for heads of institutions, for heads of, ho of homes and households, that they will lead us and guide us in the search for peace and joy, in the search for love among us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For all married people, for those married yesterday, for the new couple Michael and Angela married today, for those getting married tomorrow, that they may savor the joy of being together, warm, warm love, children, a long life and friends, and good memories every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For all young single people who look forward to a vocation full of life and full of love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the lonely old and for the lonely old and the lonely young, for the hungry rich and the hungry poor, for the sick in body, mind, and spirit, for weakness in all of us, for those broken and in pain, searching for healing, comfort strength, guidance, wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For our relatives and friends who walk with us on life's journey and for those who have gone before us to the other side of life. For a fulfilling life and blessings and the hereafter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. We add the following prayers. First, we pray for the end of the pandemic. Sana po'y matapos na. Dumating na po ang mga effective vaccines that will be effective for all variants. Mabakunahan na po lahat ng dapat mabakunahan. May the Lord protect us, keep us all safe, restore all of us to good health each day that we may live a longer life to spend with our loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, grace you, us. We pray in a special way for all who are sick, those friends and families and loved ones who right now need our prayers. And we also pray for all those who have passed away during this time of pandemic for the repose of their souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. And we also pray now for your personal intentions, those who have asked for your prayers, those we have promised to pray for. We pray to the Lord. And last, but, and last but not the least, can I ask Angela to teach Michael a prayer every day that you know by heart. A prayer that you sung before you stepped outside 
Espana Campus. Teach him this prayer. Trace with the sails of the galleons the dream beyond our sea. Touch with the flame of your kindness the gloom of our darkest night. If you teach him that prayer, then you can see even if gloom happens in your life, and even if you have a vision that you don't can't seem to see, look forward to inahanap niya, you will never lose your way. You still have this God of all nations giving you an ending grace. So we pray for the special intention of our newly wedded couple, Michael Joseph and Angela. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. And all this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Michael and Angela, please kneel. May we request the Vale and Port sponsors to please come forward. Offerers, please prepare at the back. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. Praise the glorious name for good and the good of all His holy church. Show favor to our supplications, O Lord, and receive with a kindly countenance the oblation we offer for these your servants joined now in the Holy Covenant, that through these mysteries they may be strengthened in love for one another and for you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you will that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such high dignity that in the union of husband and wife you might bestow a true image of your love. For those who created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony as the abiding sign of your own love consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
on you. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of wonderful holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Michael and Angela, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray the Lord's Prayer. Michael and Angela, bow your heads. Everyone join me in silence as I now pray the nuptial blessing in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray. 
Holy Father, maker of the whole world who created man and woman in your own image and will that your, your union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these your servants who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. Very abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Angela, and upon Michael, her companion for life, and may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the Holy Assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with a circle of friends that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> Michael and Angela will now receive communion for the first time as husband and wife.
Meridian Veil sponsors, please come forward. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find growth in these your servants, and that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by us all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Final admonition. Michael, Angela, you have now received the holy sacrament of matrimony. I admonish you to remain faithful to one another. Angela, love your husband, be a good wife, persevere in faith, love, and holiness. Michael, love your wife as Christ loves his church. Live with her in the holy fear of the Lord. A while ago, I gave you your formula, araw-araw habang buhay, good memories, and prayer life. May I now remind you of your additional assignments. One of those, but one of these are your candles. Sindihan nyo tuwing birthday and wedding anniversary. Pag naubos, palitan ng bago. And please, tell your grandkids, mga apo, please tell them, pag wala na kami sa mundong ito, tuloy pa rin ang pagsindi ng kandila namin. Twice a year. November 2, All Souls Day. And our death anniversary. Dahil sa pamilya natin, ang pagmamahal at pagdarasal sa mga minamahal ay walang hanggan. The next assignment ay sa Facebook. Lilipat na kayo ng group. Color by the Couples with Father Allen. Lipat kayo doon. Doon tayo magkikita. Don't forget to answer the membership questions. Doon po kasi kayo iimbitahan. Anong meron? Alam niyo ba na dito sa Color Vega, hindi lang dito nag-retreat si na Angela. Dito ay pwede rin mag-date kayo three days and two nights na may natutunan pa at nakapagdasal pa. Ang tawag namin dyan, Retreat for Married Couples. Kaya lang, 2019 was batch 5. Sana po next year, batch 6 matuloy na. Wala nang pandemic. So please pray at sana sumama kayo at pwede kayong magsama rin ng mga kaibigan niyo, kamag-anak niyo, mag-asawa din. And finally, the next assignment ay bago. Magpapalitrato kayo once a month. Magandang litrato, pwedeng kayo-kayo na lang selfie. Kahit malayo, pwedeng screenshot. What will you do with your pictures? Gagawa kayo ng pelikula, slideshow, movie. Kailan nang palabas? The grand launch of your once a month romantic pictures will be on the year 2046. It's your silver wedding anniversary. That's your surprise. Kaya kahit na magalingan yung mga editor, kung wala na mga materials, wala. Kaya make sure every month you've got the beautiful picture and surprise us. Gandahan niyo. Sana maabutan pa namin lahat ang inyong pelikula. And before we finally have the blessing, just two things. The first is, Tingin kayo dito sa camera para batiin ang inyong mga viewers sa live stream. Microphone, please. Ayan, dito sa camera nito. So, bati po kayo sa inyong mga fans. Kaya po sa mga fans namin. Thank you for watching and joining us. <laughs> like, subscribe, and take the notification bell. Uh, ayaw yung bigay Gcash account nyo. <laughs> Baka may abuloy sila, sayang din. Wedding gift. Okay, sige. Okay, pwede na ibalik ang microphone. And before the final blessing, I would like to ask, nasaan ang crucifix nyo? Nasa nuptial cord or nasa rosary? 
Corn, pakibalik po dito ng corn. Ano pong gagawin natin? Isang tradition sa bansang Croatia, ang unang halik, hindi para sa asawa. Ang unang halik ay para sa ex-boyfriend. Ay, sorry, sorry, di pala. Ang unang halik ay para kay Lord. Kaya gagawin din natin sa pagkat yung tradition na yun, ang nangyari, walang nagihiwalay. Sige, hawakan nyo. Ang yan, sige, hawakan nyo dalawa. Okay, so after the final blessing, ang unang halik ay para kay Lord. Hawakan nyo lang. At bago kayo mag final blessing, alam nyo bang may kanta yan? Ito, pakinggan nyo. Bakit lapis kitang mahal? Pangalawa sa may kapal. Pangalawa lang asawa. Number one pa rin si Lord. Sigurado yan, may forever. So now the final blessing before your first kiss. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your head, say amen to each blessing. May the Lord Jesus grace the marriage at Cana by His presence bless you and your loved ones. Amen. May He who loved the church till the end and ceasingly pour His love into your hearts. Amen. May the Lord grant that bearing witness to faith in His resurrection, you may await with joy the blessed hope to come. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Holy Mass has been offered, but the newly married life has just begun. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We now have the first kiss, para kay Lord. Okay, and pakisoli muna, baka mawala. May nakakawala po kasi niyan. Saya, ang souvenir. Ayan, sige, pakitago. Okay, diretso ka na rin sa pawn shop. Okay, ay, hindi, sorry. Mamaya, ay, masangda mo yan. Okay, and now, the second kiss, face to face. Hawak kamay muna, parehang kamay. Buntong hininga, at bago ka humalik, Michael, repeat after me. Malakas, sabi mo, pinakamamahal ko. My most beloved wife, Angela Kahator Ko. Naalala mo pa ba? August 2, 2018. Nagkasama kami ng barkada namin. Sabi ko kay Carla, Oh, baka naman may gusto mong ipakilala sa akin. Nag-search siya ng friends list. Isang group photo nag-share sa akin. Sabi niya, ito si Angela. Kaka-break lang yan. Maganda siya personal. Sabi ko, sige. Ikaw naman, sinabihan din ni Carla, tinanam mo kong gwapo, pumayag ka, at yun na nga, August 7, 2018, first time tayong nagkita, Ipudo, Uptown Mall, BGC. Hindi man ako kasing tangkad ng gusto mo, hindi natin makalimutan ang ating blind date. Yung conversation, yung laughter, at syempre, hindi ko makalimutan ang mga mata mo. Kaya lang, para kang si Cinderella, may curfew, buti na lang, pareho pala tayo ng barangay. Inad mo ako sa Facebook at dito na nagsimula, magkakilala tayo. Salamat naman sa scammer, binigyan mo ako ng second chance. Dahil dito, naawa ka. Sabi mo, ang laking perang nawala. Ang laking perang nawala. Dahil dito, ipinagluluto mo na ako. Nagbanding na tayo. 2019, bumagsak ang bataan. Pumayag ka na na maging tayo. Ang saya-saya. Sobrang saya. Pero dumating din ang mga pagsubok. We had to learn and grow. Together. Magkaiba kasi tayo. Minsan, Natutuwa akong naiinis. Meron na ngang muntik makabangga sa atin. 
siya pa ang galit. Ang ginawa ko, nag good afternoon pa at nag smile. Hindi lang yan. Sumasayaw-sayaw pa ako sa harap mo. May mga witty remarks. Hinihigaan ko pa ang aso natin. Nakakatuwa, pero maraming adjustments. Buti na lang, nag-adjust ka. Lalo na sa gupit ng mga guards sa buhok ko. This is how we journeyed together and how we prayed together. February 13, 2021, nag-propose na ako sa iyo. Naghanda na tayo. Nag-ipo na tayo. Naalala mo ba ang kasal natin? Kanina lang. Sana naalala mo lahat yon. Pag naalala mo lahat yon, masasabi natin, talaga mo, Ange is my co my co-pilot. Talagang mahal na mahal tayo ni Lord. Sobrang mahal tayo ni Lord. At ako rin, mahal na mahal na mahal kita. Michael, nakwento man ang love story ninyo. You may now kiss your beloved wife. Mr. and Mrs. Michael Joseph and Angela Paul. Congratulations and God bless you. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal! Mabuhay ang bagong kasal! Mabuhay ang bagong kasal! Michael, kawain-kawain kayo sa inyong mga fans. Everyone, I really read it from all. Once again, let us give Michael and Angela a loving and joyful round of applause. Please be seated for the signing of contracts and picture taking. As called, please come forward immediately.
Thank you again for joining us in the Holy Union of Angela and Michael. We will now proceed with the pictorial sequence. We may request everybody to please be seated as we call your group. Please approach to the top one at the altar.
Couple with groom's mom. Couples with groom's mom. Couple with groom's immediate family. Couples with groom's immediate family. Couples with immediate family. Groom's immediate family. Relatives of the groom. Relatives of the groom. Sponsors. Couple with principal sponsors. Couple with matron and man of honor and two best men. Couple with matron of honor. Two best men and man of honor. Couple with whole entourage. Whole entourage po. Couple with whole entourage.
Couple with Meg and Yvette. Ready, 
couple with aviation school classmates couple with aviation school classmates
I see myself in your eyes and my reflection looks happy. You make me happy. Happiness is amazing. It doesn't matter to you if it's yours or not. You are so good. You have so much to give. You are sweet, caring, funny, smart, and lovely. Kapag sinabi kong maganda ka, kasama ang kabutihang loob mo. I believe in happy ever after with you. I will love you forever, you and no other. You are everything I have ever dreamed of and everything that I will ever need. Having you beside me is enough. We will brave the storm, so bring an umbrella. At kapag nasira ang payong natin, sasayaw tayo sa ulan. I will dance with you in the rain. Sinabi mo nga, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, Look for stars. You are my sun, my moon, my rainbow, and my star, and my moon. And I promise to be the same. I will be your light throughout our married life. I promise to be your co-pilot in all of life's adventure. I promise to be your best friend, your lover, your biggest supporter, and your husband. I promise myself to you anything and everything for you. Whatever I am is yours. I will spend forever with you. Gagawa tayo na sarili nating munting paraiso. Munting paraiso na punong-puno ng kasayahan. Sabi nga ni Father, good memories. God led me to this choice to you as my wife. I praise him tonight, today, and tomorrow as his will is being fulfilled. I promise you and him my faithfulness to stand beside you in all of life's experiences. Wala na akong hingilid pa sa kanya. Binigay niya na ang bubuo at kukompleto sa akin. Ikaw, ikaw ang panalangin. na pressure ako. <laughs> Dapat ako yung nauna. Kasi sa kanya memorize niya. <laughs> oh my god, ko. Tapos may chipa. <laughs> my, ever since we got engaged, two lang ang non-negotiables ko. To be married in a church and to be married to you. You may not have been my ideal man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> may saving grace, but, you are the man that I have prayed for. You are my home and my happy place. You more than love me. You understand me completely. I promise to love you even if we fight, especially if we fight. <laughs> I promise to be your best friend, your partner, your ally, your wife. You have always been my rock, steady, strong, and supportive. I hope and pray during our marriage that we will always be there supporting each other, making our individual dreams each other's dreams, 
I love you so much and I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much again. <laughs>
Allah yang kami. You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new it's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I Already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless It started when you said hello Just did something to me I've been in a daze ever since the day that we met You took the breath out of my lungs, can't even fight it And all of the words out of my mouth without even trying And I, I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do After all this time, I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless Yeah, baby mm. It's always on a night God, you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless You're standing there in that dress Girl, it ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do